Welcome back, everyone. Yes, it's that time again. Foodie Mondays right here on 6 News. You can't get this kind of TV anywhere else, people. No, and that is why you are tuned in right now. Resident foodie Crystal Pratt is joining us. And of course, Crystal, you found another delicious spot right in the heart of Belton. Belton, yes, I absolutely love Belton. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, many people are familiar with the MK and T train depot in downtown Belton, where right. the old train station used to be. It was mm -hmm. built back, you know, when Radcliffe was born. Oh, stop that. <laughs> back in the 1800s. <laughs> it actually was. <laughs> <laughs> but now local investors have turned it into a destination location and one of these spots just happens to be the Railway Express Diner. The diner on Northeast Street just opened its doors and when you walk in there just get ready to be transported to your grandmother's kitchen. The menu even says meals like mama used to cook nice, <laughs> on there nice. and so it's great stuff. It's The menu is loaded with down home recipes and of course everything is made from scratch or I wouldn't recommend you go there. They have burgers, chicken fried steaks and they also have spins on those classic like the twisted chicken fried steak that Ooh. has Colby Jack cheese mm. and bacon on it and the hobo burger that has an onion ring twist to it. The menu just doesn't stop there. It's loaded with other delicious items but most of all it's loaded with love. When we started this me and my wife wanted to put ourselves into it um, and make it home cooking. Look like we do at home. Bring smiles to people's faces. That's the most exciting part to this, is when I look out into my dining room and I can see people smiling because they're enjoying what we do. And you haven't stopped smiling since you walked into the studio. Crystal. I haven't stopped smiling since I've been there. I've been there three times since they <laughs> opened only a couple weeks ago. Now my favorite thing, uh, my favorite item on the menu is the Fuel Man's favorite. It's a seasoned ground beef patty, bre uh, breaded like chicken fried steak, fried up. And I'm just gonna say it's better than chicken fried steak. Whoa. I'm gonna say it. Um, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I said it. I'm not afraid to say it. And it's named <laughs> after the owner's father, Christie's father, who actually used to work for the railroad and they couldn't afford cube steak. So they made ham they made it with hamburger meat and they made it the best way they could, which turned out to be a fantastic mm. thing on the item. Now the owners of the Railway Express Diner are also the owners of the delicious food food truck known as what the truck Ooh. so if you've ever eaten from there you already know the food is awesome and the railway express diner just doesn't disappoint and i want to thank jay and christy real quick for giving me this hat it's the railway express diner oh, they gave fun. me this choo -choo. cute yes. conductor hat to wear it is i can't <laughs> It's like a charm. There you, yeah, there you go. It's got a, it's got a dress screen. But Miss Schaefer makes them, Miss Schaefer, their family member, makes them by hand. And um, they're absolutely fantastic. Now, Lindsay and Chris, they, um, the Railway Express Diner is not the only thing at the MK and T uh -huh. Depot, the Katy area what out else there. Is there. Right behind them is another location that's opening up. It is the. Wait a minute, this is a two for Monday this here. Is a two. I okay. know. Go ahead. I know it, it gets better. It gets better. The 135 Latin Cuisine opened their doors just days ago, and you may want to check them out because they also have a food truck, which is extremely popular with Puerto Rican cuisine. So they've opened up there. Off the Rails Wine Bar is open. I love that name. Okay. That's sounds well, great. Excuse me, they are <laughs> opening up in a little bit. There's also right behind them in the cars, there are uh, the Warm Cookie Company and the Sly Fox uh, coffee shop. Wow. They're all a part of that depot that used to be the MKNT depot. Mm -hmm. And that's not all. They also plan on opening an old school candy shop out there, Pizza Pyros. They plan on opening a crepe shop and a wine and bookstore. And so, wow, you <laughs> found a gold mine here. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. If you like a little bit more on the history of that, go to our website, kcentv.com. Nicole Sheeran did a story about the history Very of cool. that area. I love it. Yesterday. And I, so go check it out. I just like to go on record. I was born in the 20th century. <laughs> he was born in 1899. No one. Oh, no, stop that. We'll be right back. <laughs>